to look at new ways of adapting an old product, new ways of bringing finishes in, new ways of combining bricks. I mean, we're talking blends, we're talking the textures, the smooths, the, the pewter, so you're on house number four. I mean, what we've got is a material that is maintenance free. You don't have to paint a brick. It's something we often forget about. It's a traditional material. It's traditional for a reason, in that it has a vast longevity. That is going to translate down the track to a good sale price come auction day. That's why we're all here on the blog. But forecast that 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the track, you'll still have a beautiful home by the nature of the material. It's long lasting. It's going to always come back to you in resale. These new brick ideas, they're really exciting. And it's not just traditional brick laying either that you can bring to it. There are patterns, there are different ways you can structure a wall. There are different coursework, there are different soldier coursing, stack bond, stretcher bond. Let's talk about all these great new ways that brick layers are coming to the fore and they're seeing the popularity of the product. So the new, let's call it new, but let's say the old technique of brick laying as a traditional method of building is coming back and that's really quite exciting. You really aren't limited to that anymore, to the extent that you can actually create a blend of bricks. And it's not limited to a particular colour way, so you can actually add different colours, bricks, different styles. I mean, these are really exciting new trends in brick laying and the use of brick in buildings that I think is going to transform and inform a whole new uh, style of architectural responses in the future. It's an enduring product and it's enduring that it's going to last and stand the test of time in combination with other materials.